We all know someone who smokes, maybe it's a friend, a family member, or a co-worker. They light up a cigarette, take a drag, and exhale a plume of smoke. Have you ever stopped to wonder how that cigarette came to be? It's a process that's both fascinating and a little bit mysterious. From the tobacco fields to the factory floor making a cigarette is a complex journey. In this video we're going behind the scenes to explore the intricate world of cigarette manufacturing. We'll uncover the secrets of how tobacco leaves are transformed into those familiar little white sticks. Get ready for a captivating journey through cutting-edge technology, skilled craftsmanship, and a whole lot of tobacco. This is the story of how cigarettes are made. Our journey begins in the heart of tobacco country. Vast fields stretch as far as the eye can see, a sea of emerald green. This is where it all starts, with a tiny seed. Planted with care, these seeds will soon sprout into the tobacco plants that fuel a global industry. The plants thrive under the warm sun and gentle rain. Farmers work tirelessly, tending to their crops with generations of knowledge passed down through the ages. They carefully monitor the plant's growth, ensuring they receive the perfect balance of nutrients and water. Weeks turn into months, and the plants mature. Their broad leaves, now heavy with nicotine, are ready for harvest. Workers move through the fields with practiced ease, carefully plucking the leaves from the stalks. The harvested leaves are bundled together and transported to curing barns. Here, they undergo a transformation that will define their flavor and aroma. The curing process is an art form, a delicate dance of heat, air, and time. Inside the barns, the air is thick with the sweet, earthy scent of drying tobacco. The leaves gradually lose their moisture, their color deepening to a rich golden brown. Different curing methods like air curing and flue curing create unique flavor profiles. The curing process can take several weeks, depending on the desired outcome. It's a critical stage that determines the quality and character of the final product. Master blenders carefully monitor the leaves, ensuring they reach the perfect level of dryness and flavor. Once cured, the tobacco leaves are grated and sorted. Only the finest leaves will make the cut for cigarette production. The sorted leaves are then packed into bales and shipped off to factories around the world. The journey from seed to factory is a testament to the dedication of countless individuals. It's a process steeped in tradition and expertise, a delicate balance of nature and human intervention. Now, the real magic begins. Inside the factories, these humble leaves will be transformed into one of the most ubiquitous consumer products on the planet, the cigarette. The factory floor is a symphony of sights, sounds, and smells. Bales of cured tobacco arrive from all corners of the globe, each with its own unique character. This is where the science and artistry of cigarette making truly come alive. Master blenders like perfumers of the tobacco world step in to create the perfect blend. They have an intimate knowledge of each tobacco type, understanding how different varieties will interact to produce a specific flavor profile. It's a delicate balancing act, a quest for the perfect combination of aroma, taste, and burn. Using a secret recipe, they combine leaves from different regions and harvests. Some blends might favor the robust flavor of Turkish tobacco, while others might highlight the smooth, mellow notes of Virginia leaf. The blended tobacco is then carefully shredded, creating a consistent mixture ready for the next stage of the process flavoring. Cigarette flavoring is a world unto itself. It's here that the characteristic taste and aroma of different cigarette brands are born. Flavoring is a closely guarded secret, with each manufacturer having their own unique formulas. The shredded tobacco is sprayed with a mixture of water, sugars, and flavorings. These can range from natural extracts like cocoa and licorice, to synthetic compounds designed to enhance specific taste notes. The flavored tobacco is then carefully heated and dried, allowing the flavors to permeate the leaves. This process, known as casing, is crucial for creating the desired taste and aroma of the final product. The exact combination of flavorings used is a closely guarded secret, a key factor in differentiating one brand from another. Not all cigarettes are created equal. Manufacturers produce a wide variety of cigarettes, each tailored to specific preferences. Some smokers prefer a stronger, bolder smoke, while others opt for a smoother, milder experience. The diameter of the cigarette, the type of filter used, and even the paper wrapping all play a role in shaping the smoking experience. For example, cigarettes with filters containing activated charcoal are designed to reduce the amount of tar inhaled. Menthol cigarettes, with their characteristic cooling sensation, are created by adding menthol flavoring during the casing process. The level of menthol can vary, offering smokers a range of options. By carefully controlling every aspect of production, from the blend of tobacco to the type of filter used, 
manufacturers can create a wide range of cigarettes to satisfy diverse consumer preferences. Now the flavored tobacco is ready for its transformation into the familiar cigarette shape. It starts with the creation of the tobacco rod, the heart of every cigarette. This is where the magic of mass production truly comes alive. Machines, humming with precision, feed the loose tobacco onto a thin, continuous sheet of cigarette paper. This paper, specially designed to burn slowly and evenly, is crucial for a consistent smoking experience. As the tobacco streams onto the paper, it's meticulously shaped and compressed into a long, cylindrical rod. The paper wraps around the tobacco, its edges sealed with a thin line of edible glue, ensuring the rod holds its shape. This continuous rod, stretching for meters, is a testament to the efficiency of modern manufacturing. It's a far cry from the days of hand-rolled cigarettes where each one was a unique creation. The continuous rod, now resembling an extremely long cigarette, moves swiftly along the conveyor belt towards its destiny. The next step is a decisive one, cutting the rod into individual cigarettes. A whirling blade, sharp as a surgeon's scalpel, descends upon the rod. With each rotation, it slices through the tobacco and paper, creating hundreds of perfectly uniform cigarettes every minute. The precision is mesmerizing. These freshly cut cigarettes, still slightly moist from the casing process, tumble onto another conveyor belt. Their journey is far from over. They must now undergo a drying process to remove any excess moisture. This ensures they burn evenly and produce the desired smoking experience. The air inside the drying chamber is carefully controlled for temperature and humidity, a delicate balance to achieve the perfect moisture level. Emerging from the drying chamber, the cigarettes are almost ready for their close-up. But first, they need to be dressed for the occasion. This is where the filter comes in, a small but significant component that has revolutionized smoking. Filters, typically made of cellulose acetate, are fed into a machine that attaches them to the end of each cigarette. The filter serves several purposes, from reducing the amount of tar and nicotine inhaled to providing a more comfortable smoking experience. With the filter securely in place, the cigarette is now recognizable in its almost final form, but it still lacks one crucial element, the distinctive branding that sets it apart on the shelf. This is where the cigarettes get their final touch. High-speed printing machines capable of incredible detail apply the brand name, logo, and other markings that identify the cigarette to the consumer. Each brand has its own unique design, a visual shorthand that speaks volumes to smokers. Imagine a perfectly synchronized dance floor, but instead of dancers, it's cigarettes. Freshly printed and ready for their debut, they glide down the conveyor belt towards their designated packages. This is where order reigns supreme. Mechanical arms guided by sensors and programmed with pinpoint accuracy, gently lift the cigarettes and place them into their designated compartments. Every movement is calculated, ensuring each pack receives the correct number of cigarettes. It's a marvel of modern engineering, a testament to the efficiency and precision that define mass production. The machines work tirelessly, packaging thousands of cigarettes per minute without missing a beat. But this is not just about speed, it's about maintaining the integrity of the product. Every cigarette must be handled with care, ensuring it reaches the consumer in pristine condition. Before these packs are deemed ready for the outside world, they face a series of rigorous quality control checks. This is where the dedication to excellence truly shines through. Highly trained inspectors, with an eye for detail, scrutinize every aspect of the finished product. They check for any imperfections in the packaging, ensuring the seals are airtight and the printing is flawless. They also use specialized equipment to test the cigarettes themselves, measuring factors like weight, length, and burn rate. Any cigarettes that don't meet the stringent standards are immediately rejected, ensuring that only the highest quality products make it to market. This commitment to quality is a hallmark of the industry, a testament to the importance placed on consumer satisfaction. It's this meticulous attention to detail, this unwavering pursuit of perfection, that ensures every pack of cigarettes lives up to the brand's reputation. The final stage of the journey is all about preservation, ensuring that the product reaches the consumer in perfect condition. The inspected and approved cigarette packs are gathered and meticulously prepared for their journey to retailers and ultimately into the hands of consumers who expect nothing but the best. But first, they must be protected from the elements, ensuring that external factors do not compromise their quality. A thin layer of cellophane, almost invisible to the eye, is carefully wrapped around each pack, providing a crucial shield. 
This protective barrier seals in the freshness, preserving the flavor and aroma of the cigarettes inside, which is essential for consumer satisfaction. It also provides an additional layer of tamper resistance, assuring consumers that the product is untouched and safe to use. The now sealed packs are then collated into cartons, ready for shipping to various destinations. These cartons are often adorned with the brand's logo and colors, a final flourish that represents the brand's identity before they embark on their journey to distribution centers and retail outlets. And with that, the journey from tobacco field to factory floor to store shelf is complete, a testament to the meticulous process involved. It's a journey that reflects the intricate interplay of nature, technology, and human ingenuity, all culminating in that familiar pack of cigarettes ready to be enjoyed by consumers worldwide. The journey of a cigarette doesn't end at the factory gates. In fact, it's just the beginning of a complex distribution network that spans the globe. Cartons, stacked high on pallets, are loaded onto trucks, their destinations as diverse as the smokers they're destined for. These trucks, often emblazoned with the cigarette manufacturer's logo, become rolling billboards, a constant reminder of the product's reach. They navigate highways and byways, carrying their precious cargo towards distribution hubs strategically located across the country and beyond. For international destinations, the journey takes to the skies. Cargo planes, their holds filled with thousands of cartons, soar through the air, bridging continents and connecting factories to markets across the world. It's a logistical ballet, choreographed with precision and driven by demand. Every step of the journey is tracked and monitored, ensuring a steady flow of product from the factory floor to the retail shelves. Section 2. Warehouses of Want The trucks and planes converge on massive distribution centers, sprawling warehouses that hum with activity. Here the cartons are unloaded, sorted and prepared for their final journey to retailers. Forklifts buzz like worker bees, their operators navigating the towering aisles with practiced ease. Each carton is scanned and tracked, its movement recorded in a sophisticated inventory management system. This ensures that retailers receive the right products in the right quantities at the right time. The warehouses are more than just storage facilities, they are hubs of activity where orders are processed, shipments are consolidated, and the supply chain is kept moving. It's a 24-7 operation, ensuring that smokers never have to go without their preferred brand. The air inside the warehouse is thick with the smell of tobacco, a potent reminder of the product at the heart of this logistical dance. Section 3. The Final Mile The final leg of the journey is often the most familiar, yet it is crucial in ensuring that the product reaches its intended destination. Delivery trucks, their sides adorned with the logos of convenience stores and supermarkets fan out from the distribution centers, carrying their cargo to retailers large and small. These trucks are the lifeline of the supply chain, bridging the gap between production and consumption. They navigate bustling city streets and quiet suburban neighborhoods, ensuring that cigarettes are available wherever they are sold. Whether it's a small corner store or a large supermarket, these trucks make sure that the shelves are always stocked. At the retail level, the cartons are unpacked and the individual packs are placed in displays, often strategically positioned near the checkout counter. This placement is no accident. It's designed to catch the eye of the consumer, making the product easily accessible and tempting. This is the point of sale, where the journey that began in the tobacco fields reaches its ultimate destination, the hands of the consumer. It's a moment of transaction where all the efforts of cultivation, manufacturing and distribution culminate. The entire process from seed to smoke is a testament to the power of globalization and the efficiency of modern manufacturing and distribution networks. It's a well-oiled machine that operates seamlessly across borders and time zones. It's a journey that spans continents, involves countless individuals, and is driven by the demand for one of the world's most widely consumed products, from the farmers who grow the tobacco, to the factory workers who process it, to the truck drivers who deliver it, each person plays a vital role. And so, the next time you see someone light up a cigarette, take a moment to consider the journey that brought that product to that very moment. It's a journey filled with hard work, precision, and a global network of people working together. It's a journey that is both fascinating and complex, a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable desire for the things we crave. The story of a cigarette is more than just a tale of consumption. It's a narrative of global collaboration and relentless pursuit of efficiency. Section 1. A Symphony of Production From the vast, sprawling tobacco fields where the journey begins, 
to the bustling industrious factory floors where the magic happens, we've witnessed the intricate and fascinating journey of a cigarette. It's a meticulous process that blends nature's bounty with human ingenuity, a testament to our remarkable ability to transform raw materials into products that not only shape our world, but also tell a story of innovation and craftsmanship. The scale of production is truly staggering, a symphony of machinery and manpower working in perfect harmony, each part playing its role with precision. Every step from the careful blending and flavoring to the precise rolling and packaging is a testament to the precision and efficiency that defines modern manufacturing. The speed at which cigarettes are produced is nothing short of mesmerizing, a powerful testament to the capabilities of mass production. Yet amidst this mechanized marvel there lies a crucial human element, skilled workers whose expertise has been honed over years of experience, overseeing the process with a keen eye, ensuring that each cigarette meets the highest standards of quality and consistency. It's a poignant reminder that even in the age of automation, the human touch and expertise remain essential and irreplaceable. The next time you hold a cigarette in your hand, take a moment to appreciate the complexity and intricacy of its creation, the culmination of countless processes and the dedication of countless individuals. It's a story of innovation, precision, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Section 2. Beyond the Smoke While this video has focused on the how of cigarette production, it's important to acknowledge the broader context. The health risks associated with smoking are well documented, casting a long shadow over this global industry. The very product that emerges from these factories, a source of pleasure for some, carries with it significant health consequences. As we marvel at the ingenuity of cigarette production, let's not forget the responsibility that comes with it. The choices we make as consumers have far-reaching implications. This journey behind the scenes is not just about understanding the making of a cigarette. It's about prompting reflection on our own choices and the impact we have on ourselves and the world around us. The story of cigarette production is a complex one, a blend of innovation, efficiency, and consequence. It's a story that continues to unfold, shaped by consumer demand, technological advancements, and evolving societal norms. 